This is just a 3D section showing you the end of it with the cast shadow, some line work on a panel. So it does take a little bit of time when you're doing something uh, like this, trying to get the intricacy of all of the uh, designs. So it's using the pen tool <coughs> and making the shapes and then using the width tool to try to expand it. And if you remember, once you have the line drawn, you can use a little bit of the profile or you can actually use the width tool and hold the option key on one side in order to expand it. And then you can use the direct selection tool to manipulate the paths to get everything placed in there. So this part is just all one stroke and then using the width tool to try to imagine the side. So when you do that, you want to put the one stroke on one side of the image so that you're dragging into it or outside of it. Some pieces you have to just follow and try to clean up the image as it goes through. But once it's there, you just hold the option key. You know, here's just all the strokes and some, some have fills, so it'll make it a little easier. That's just a quick rendition of this. And you can actually slow this down if you need to see any close detail, but you're just kind of building that section up. And then for the type, again, this is just a Helvetica font, stretching it across, trying to duplicate it change some of the highlighting as it goes through to the different text and the and the uh, letting command c for the option c for the copyright and just looking touching up making everything look pretty accurate as you can and then this is what you're going to make into a symbol which will allow you then to uh, build that piece up and then all you're doing is making a rectangular shape extruding it and placing this uh, right on top of it and the lines can just be a pattern fill to make some of those sections when you see it at the end here with a little bit of a drop shadow.